the 1980s to encourage young Catholics to embrace their faith. Massive smoke and flames near Phoenix, Arizona. Look at the black smoke here. This is a scene from above, of course. Multiple cars parked in an industrial area catching on fire yesterday afternoon. High winds helped fuel the flames and spread them to nearby structures. It forced dozens of families to evacuate homes nearby. More than 100 firefighters scrambled to tackle the fire. Three firefighters had minor injuries. No word on a cause. Now let's talk about the weather and where they're usually enjoying winter this time of year. Argentina has been recording its hottest winter season in 117 years. Tuesday's high in Buenos Aires was 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The previous hottest start to August was recorded in 1942 there at 76 degrees. Yeah, definitely hot in the a lot of places that usually don't experience the kind of heat this time of year, but we haven't even hit 90 degrees yet. Yeah, we've hit 89.6 and that's it. <laughs> it's a few times we've hit that. Haven't hit 90, but it's been pretty uncomfortable, especially yeah, last week was, uh, you know, that was pretty brutal with the humidity last week. Right now, though, it's really comfortable mm -hmm. out there. East Greenwich, we've got a little haze currently hanging out and kind of make that out. A little milky white sky out there. A live picture from Newport Harbor. Same kind of view, some puffy clouds. Live radar, though, nice and quiet. Not expecting any rain today. Threat tracker for today, low. Now, tomorrow, we are looking at the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms. And I'll show you just a minute. Uh, we have the chance for some in the morning and then perhaps another round during the uh, late afternoon and evening. It's not going to be raining all day, though. There could be some downpours, though. Whenever those showers do come through, we'll kick them out of here. And the weekend's looking pretty good. Temperatures already up to 76 degrees in Providence, 73 in Newport, 77 in New Bedford. Many areas were well down into the 50s this morning. Even a few spots were down into the 40s. Satellite radar picture. We've been tracking these clouds and showers all morning long. And these showers continue to kind of weaken. We might find some clouds arriving as we go through the nighttime tonight from that little batch of showers and generally pretty quiet right through the nighttime tonight. High pressure continues to drift away, but on the back side of it, more of a southwestern southerly wind will kind of nudge the humidity up as we go through the daytime today. And eventually cold front will be approaching as we get into the daytime tomorrow, and that will help to give us some chances for showers and thunder. This evening, though, looking pretty quiet. We're going to be dry through the uh, uh, nighttime tonight. Now, first thing tomorrow morning, there could be a couple of showers and thunderstorms working through the area, not raining all morning, but the possibility of a quick shower or downpour or two will be with us. And then we'll probably get a break and maybe another round arriving very late in the day. And it might actually be more in the evening hours with some showers and some thunderstorms. And then they're out of here for Saturday morning. Saturday will end up being a pretty good day with a blend of clouds and sunshine. I think we're going to be dry here in Rhode Island and nearby Massachusetts. So for today, topping out in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees, maybe a few extra clouds around late. It's going to be warm and dry with some uh, hazy sunshine. And then for tonight, I think we're going to be dry through the night. Overnight low temperatures down to about 63 degrees, and it'll be a little muggier as well as we go through the nighttime tonight. And your seven day forecast closer look at tomorrow and we are looking at the possibility of showers and thunder through the day. Notice the precipitation chances here 40 to 50% even in the morning, meaning it's not going to be a widespread rain, but possibility of some showers will be with us even later in the day, looking at the chance for a couple of showers, thunderstorms. Some of that rain could be a little on the heavy side, especially in the evening temperatures tomorrow topping out in the mid 70s. Thinking about the weekend, why not looking good uh, at the beaches on Saturday, partly to mostly sunny air temperature there about 78 inland areas about 81 basically the same beach forecast for Sunday as well looking good could be some rain showers arriving Monday night but I think Monday itself will be dry get your weather anytime on our website that's at WPRI.com so looking really nice this afternoon we'll have to track some uh, showers thunderstorms tomorrow all right, thanks, TJ. And stories we're working on coming up all new tonight on 12 News. Continuing to track developments in Bellingham after the tractor trailer crashed into a home there. And then throughout our evening newscast, we'll be bringing you the latest from Washington, D.C. By 5 p.m., we could know more from the court proceedings for former President Trump's latest criminal indictment. At 6, a First Amendment fight in Warwick, a local activist thrown out of an open meeting with the moment captured on video. The backlash that's growing and much more in three full hours of 12 News, all starting tonight at 4.